Every single week, by the way, we find new evidence how great nuts are for you. Now, the two nuts that you love the most, I'm going to take away from you. Peanuts, aflatoxins, bad cancer, and cashews, which are all cooked in the process. All other nuts are amazingly good for you, as long as they are O and R. What's O and R? Organic and raw. Organic and raw. You know, it's really funny, because uh, when I was a boy in the 50s, my grandpa and I used to go to Yankee Stadium, and it was wonderful. I mean, back in those days, those guys were just so down to earth. They didn't make money. Uh, matter of fact, one of my good friends, Dr. Tom, he was a doc for the Yankees back in the 50s and 60s. And uh, he said that, do you realize half those guys or more had to, they lived in cottages close to the stadium, and they had to have different jobs because they didn't make enough money as, as players. And Mantle would come up, Roger Maris, Joe Pepitone, Whitey Ford, they'd shake your hand. And my grandpa and I went there to do two things, eat roasted nuts and hot dogs with sauerkraut. I didn't realize I was seeing the greatest baseball team that ever existed in the history of baseball. I knew the roasted nuts. So now I become a vegan 50 years ago, and I literally say, well, at least it's a vegan food. And somebody said, well, roasted nuts are bad for you. It's bad for your heart. It's bad for you. a whole lot of things. I said, OK, so I hated raw nuts. But one thing that filled me up, and a lot of you are facing that around the world today listening to me, is when you give up animal flesh and heavy foods and two pounds of potatoes with gravy and butter on it, you feel empty. It's an emotional thing, by the way. You're not empty. You're filled. You're eating healthy, plant-based diet. You're now filled with nutrition for the first time in your life, probably. But you feel empty because you've been squashing your feelings and emotion with food. How do I know that? I was an expert at it, squashing my emotions with food. So now you want to fill up with something. So I was literally eating two to three pounds of nuts a day. The end result is I got hemorrhoids. So although I'm telling you nuts are incredibly good for you, not two or three pounds of nuts a day. And the other thing we have to do with nuts is something I don't do well myself still, is chew. You got to put on, you know, like uh, really sexy music, like a Frank Sinatra number or something, and chew until the song's over. That's the only way I can do it. <laughs> Listen to some of the, this is highlights out of several hundred studies. Frequent nut consumption is associated with reversing pancreatic cancer. How do you like that? So you say, well, you know, I used to be an alcoholic. I ate sugar my whole life. That's most of you, by the way. And by the way, you're candidates for pancreatic cancer. So what's the remedy for that? Start chewing, chewing, chewing. You know, Fleetwood Mac works, Frank Sinatra works, Tupac works, whatever it takes. Just keep chewing. <laughs> These findings support hypotheses that dietary intake of the fiber in nuts during adolescence influence subsequent breast disease. You want your children to have less breast cancer in the future, less cyst, give them raw nuts when they're young. Not sugary drinks, even if they're organic. Daily ingestion of 56 grams, that's a very small amount, of walnuts improve endothelial function. That's the chemistry inside of every vein that prevents heart attacks and strokes. Pretty interesting stuff, huh? Better than having a heart attack or close to a heart attack and then needing some medicine that really doesn't work. But it does destroy your liver, destroy your heart, and destroy your brain. Processed food, scary stuff. Most of you that eat health food are eating processed food. Most health food is processed food. And it has the same BPA plastic on it that the 7-Eleven food has on it. You don't see, it says corn, corn made plastic, soy made plastic, it just says plastic. So they looked at 45,000 adults. That's a, a pretty significant study. They looked at them for two years. Higher intake of ultra processed food. The number one ultra processed food is called microwave food. 
Let's just spend a minute on, I know a lot of you use microwave. Well, we have busy lives, busy lives. We just nuke our food. Now, first time I was introduced, 1960, when I was on a date, this girl's father worked for GE. He had a prototype microwave in their house. My girlfriend and I went in, that girl and her boyfriend, and the mother took us over to the microwave, and it was a little square box in the wall, and it had something this big to look at. All our little heads were there. I don't think I've been the same since. I think it was radiated. <laughs> and I, I was shocked because when I used to eat cooked apples, the only time I'd eat fruit if it was cooked or cooked in a can with sugar. How about that stuff? How about those peaches? I used to eat those peaches, my teeth would hurt. Bang, ba bung, ba dung. <laughs> the worst were the apples in the TV dinners. <laughs> Remember those apples that would stick to the aluminum? Boy, they'd stick to my teeth, but I, I couldn't stop eating them because the sugar was so good in it. So back to it. And I remember watching the apple cook in two minutes. We were stunned. And the father came down, a real egghead. You know, he had a crew cut, thick glasses. We said, how did that happen? He said, well, we disturbed the molecular structure. I didn't know what a molecular structure was. I was just a young kid at that point. But I'll never forget that, because what they do is they actually take the natural rhythm of life that all moves in a clockwise manner and spin it in the opposite direction. And when the molecules start to hit one another, it breaks down and destroys what you're cooking, causing disruption for your DNA and RNA. So ultra-processed food, much higher death rates, much higher death rates, four to six years sooner when people consistently for only two years, not 20 years, not 30 years, only two years ate ultra-processed food which, by the way, most health foods are. 